The reason I wanted Lucine to be the next watch in the model line was my own love for Moonface indications. It's the art of it, it's the aesthetic of it, it's how you interpret your idea of a Moonface watch. And I just had a love for it, so I wanted the second watch to be this. My name is Aaron Bazarkanian, I'm the designer and founder of Hubby Nagan, and we're here to talk about the HN01 Lucine. So, where it all started. That's the first initial drawing of what would become HN01 Lucene. I've always been enamored by off-centered designs. I knew that's where I wanted the brand to go because it gave a unique expression of not only the time, but the different complications that were gonna be put into the watch. The aesthetic of the moon phase depiction itself is proprietary to Javid Nagan. It's an image captured from Las Vegas of the moon in, in varied lighting that reveals the mineral deposits of the moon. I wanted the collector's eye to focus on one, the time, and two, right above it, the moon. And a unique moon, the Javid Nagan moon. What you'll notice, first and foremost, is the thickness of the watch. The OO at its midpoint is 11.6 millimeters thick. The O1 is 10.2 millimeters. So much more flush on the wrist wear. Not only is the base caliber much thinner, the moon phase module that we implemented ensured that we would have a 1.4 millimeter reduction in thickness to the overall watch, which was already you know, goal achieved. Typically, when you look at the moon, you see clouds. So my immediate thought was to decorate the movement on the front side, the dial side, with perlage. So it sort of evokes this moon against the cloud setting. There are varied levels of texture. So under sunlight, you will see the fine texture, and under shade or no light, it'll look flat. We partnered up with John Rousseau again to bring the collectors the same comfort, same fitting, the customizability. In my eyes, they're the only option. The alligator was the dressy option. The goat was sort of like a business casual kind of fitting. All of these new materials that we have, why not make them retrofitable to the OO? You give people much more optionality in terms of know, how they want their OO to be expressed or how the O1 is going to be expressed. You know, if you want to pair it up with a different outfit or, you know, whatever the case may be, uh, I wanted people to have that option. The next step for Javi Nagan is the Javi Nagan dress watch. And I'm going to flex into my creative vision of what you saw uh, the Hubby Nagan sports case is. Now I'm going to show you what the Hubby Nagan dress watch is. So very vintage inspired cascading case features. And I'm glad to say I've come up with this idea where the off-centered in a way or exposed periphery of, a, of the dial facing will be incorporated into the dress watch. So yes, it's dress, yes, it's more classical, but it has that Javi Nagan flair to it. Uh, so I'm really excited to, I'm really excited to show people that. 